Oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. We are really back when we roll for sandwich. Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to the Roll for Sandwich Thanksgiving Leftover Special. Let's go. Today, I'll be using these LED light-up dice that were sent Those in dice are sick. ...by a viewer. Thanks. Let's get started with our Roll for Bread. Six Honey Oat. Hopefully, our Honey Oat bread will be able to stand up to the loads of leftovers we're about to subject it to. All right, let's roll our first leftovers roll. Eleven Ham. If given okay. the I will always pick holiday ham over turkey, but today all the power rests with the dice. Luckily, so far they seem to be- Thanksgiving sandwich never made with ham. I will say that. Thanksgiving sandwich, always turkey as the base, but I don't mind a good ham sandwich. On my side. We'll see if that changes. All right, let's hit it with another leftovers roll. 10 mashed potatoes. Got some garlic and herb mashed potatoes. That made me want a sandwich. Oh, yeah. I want a sandwich That's now. For a cool potatoes with cool some green onion as well. Room. Technically, I guess you would call these smashed potatoes as they do have some skin left on them. But all I know is that they're tasty. All right, leftovers roll number three. Seven, shrimp. Though maybe not a traditional Thanksgiving food. No, I mean, I, I get shrimp. Oh, yeah. I get shrimp at Thanksgiving. We're back to it's... Yeah. It's, I've seen it. It's usually an appetizer though. It's usually like a shrimp cocktail um, that you eat as like an appetizer. I've seen it. I've had it. I'm not big on it. A shrimp cocktail appetizer is commonplace at many a holiday gathering. So far, there you go. I don't think we have really conflicting flavors going on here, but it is starting to become a lot. All right, and here's our fourth and final leftovers roll. Here we go. Two green beans. No green bean casserole this year. This year we have... Huh. I don't know how that's going to play. I don't know how that's going to play. Fresh nef green whammy, beans sauteed whammy, in butter. Nef whammy, nef whammy. With salt and pepper. I enjoy green beans as a side, but I think they might be a little bit difficult texturally on the sandwich. All right, now to shake things up a little bit with a Thanksgiving magic roll. Five, roll for cheese. All right, let's get out our regular cheese list and roll for some cheese. Five, Munster. Okay. All right, so atop our warm pile of leftovers, we will add some Munster. What kind of sandwich should I get? And last but not least, it's the D6 sauce roll. Here we go. Six, gravy. I don't okay, have best sauce, gravy. best sauce. But what I do have is this can of caramelized onion gravy that looks like a can of soda. Now, what? They package gravy in a can like this. As a food-based chaos goblin, I am feeling particular. What? Really targeted. Well, I know what I must do. Cheers. Oh, yeah, wow. What? Cool. I will drinking the gravy. Thank you so much. Cool. Oh, Lord, he's drinking the gravy. Onion filled gravy. It has a good taste. Stop! He went back for it seconds. He warmed up. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, he's drinking the gravy. Let's warm it up and get it on our sandwich. Now that it's warmed up, the gravy seems to be gravying much better. The monster is kind of acting like that's a not bad looking gravy healed and letting a lot of the gravy. That's off. too much gravy, sir. Off. You're but out of con you're out of control. Jeez. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich closed up here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together and let's get it cut in half. OK, OK. He's going to like this. Hey, Will. the shrimp are going to throw him off. He's going to mention how the shrimp throw him off. He's going to say he can't really taste the Munster and the green beans don't do much. The gravy is really good. The ham is good. I'm going eight, four. Let's take a look at that cross section. That's a big boy. Well, we kind of got a little bit of everything today and it resulted in this hefty sandwich. Do you have a particular Thanksgiving leftover sandwich you make every year? Let me know in the comments. Let's taste our creation. Yes, I will tell you the proper way to make a Thanksgiving sandwich, by the way. Oh yeah, wow, that's for cool. It's not bad. I wish it would have retained more of the gravy. Could have maybe used another sauce in addition to that. There's just a lot on it for what ended up being so little sauce. Also, my honey oat bread is on the verge of being stale, which caused it to not stick together very well. How do I know that? How do I know that your bread is stale? So that's a bummer. This one definitely could have benefited from a different order of construction, especially applying the gravy directly to the mashed potatoes and then putting the cheese on. 
But on this show, we just do what the dice say. And sometimes that just means we learn how to make it better next time. And there we go. The second Roll for Sandwich Thanksgiving special in the books. I'm going to give this one a 6.6. And I'm going to call it The Fridge Raider. I am never going to get one of these right. I'm never going to get one of these right because his evaluation scale is crazy. His evaluation scale is crazy. He subtracted points for stale bread. How do I know that? How do I know you're going to use stale bread? Skill issue? You better, you better fucking watch out. Um, okay. Two things have to happen. I want a sandwich tonight. I'm going to order a sandwich, but the correct Thanksgiving sandwich is first you start with a hoagie roll. You want a hoagie roll that looks like that. That's that good shit. That is that good shit. First things first, you start with mashed potato, mashed potato baseline. Okay. Mashed potato baseline, thin layer gravy. Okay. Thin layer gravy. Then you go dark meat, turkey. I'm talking turkey from the drumsticks, daddy. You want that dark meat, turkey, bang, throw it on there. Next layer stuffing. If you are making a Thanksgiving sandwich without stuffing, fuck off. Now, here's the important thing. On to the stuffing goes your cranberry sauce. You don't want much, but you need it. It is the glue that binds. The cranberry sauce brings that high note, right? You know how he was talking about, oh, I wish there was more gravy. You don't need more gravy. It's all base flavors. You need that tweeter. You need that high note. You need a little bit of crayon on there. Now, a purist will go without uh, cheese. That is fine. I am okay with going out without cheese. But if you are demanding cheese, except no substitute, we're going white cheddar. 